Hi, it's Dr. Centeno, and today I'd like to go over a, a real case study of a real patient where the Regenix Flexible Lab Platform really shines. So the world of orthobiologics is regrettably one size fits all. As you know, you get these kits, these kits do one thing, they do one thing well, and some providers try to mess around and play with the kits, but then they're doing stuff that isn't validated. Uh, or a lot of providers own multiple machines that run multiple kits. So this is a woman who had a left-sided partial supersanus tear in two places, uh, one more proximal in her substance and then one on uh, the articular side more distally that included about half the tendon. So it was really going to need bone marrow concentrate. PRP wasn't going to do it. Uh, she also had a right-sided supraspinatus tendinosis, had bilateral lateral epicondylitis, and cervical radiculopathy to boot. So from my standpoint, I wanted to treat the left side with high-dose bone marrow concentrate by, and also add in platelet-rich plasma and immediate growth factors and platelet lysate. I wanted to treat the right-sided supraspinatus tendinosis, and I had already treated that side previously with bone marrow concentrate. It was doing great, but it was just aggravated because she was unable to use her left side because of this new tear. So that just needed some PRP. Also, I wanted to treat her bilateral lateral epicondylitis with some PRP, and her cervical radiculopathy with high-dose platelet lysate injected into the facet, overfilling into the epidural space. Now, why the high platelet concentrations? Our research has shown that older tenocytes respond in a direct dose response fashion to higher dose PRP all the way up to 14X. So you need to go higher in these older patients if you're gonna maximize results. So let's think about this for a second. To do this is gonna require a lot of equipment. I'm gonna need one PRP machine and I'm gonna to have to double or triple spin it in validating that protocol for that machine to get that high concentration. Then I could use the PRP machine to create the bone marrow concentrate, but it's really not designed to do that. So I better use a separate bone marrow concentrate machine. The problem then becomes if I wanna get that high a dose of bone marrow concentrate, i.e. go from 60 mLs to two or three mLs, cause that's all this tear is gonna take. I'm gonna to need to double or triple spin that, also invalidating that protocol. And if I wanna make any of the high dose play that lysate, I'm gonna need a lab, uh, which I obviously don't have if I just have a bunch of bedside machines. In addition, her uh, hemoglobin was 12.1. So the blood requirements plus the marrow draw, it's gonna require taking too much blood from a borderline anemic patient. Uh, however, with the Regenix Flexible Lab Platform, I can make some of the PRP and PL from the bone marrow aspirate, and that reduces the volume of the blood draw. So while this really couldn't have been accomplished with the amalgam of machines and kits and double and triple spins and yada, yada, yada that had to be done, since I have a flexible lab platform, I can do all of this and do it all well and treat this patient all at once, which is a unique thing in the regenerative medicine world. So don't be limited by one size fits all solutions. Check out regenix.com for more information.